Hi, this is Tracy with GenesisBlogging.com. I wanted to show you a really quick feature that's in TweetDeck that um, I haven't really showed you much on before. Um, if you open up TweetDeck, and you'll notice here, most of the people that I follow um, obviously tweet in English because that's my primary language. But I do follow um, in search columns the phrase TweetDeck, and occasionally I do get tweets that are in a foreign language and I might like to help these people or maybe they can read English but I certainly uh, cannot read their language. Or sometimes I do have bilingual um, followers who tweet something in both languages and I have no clue what they're saying. The really cool thing is in TweetDeck like for example you'll see here that um, this guy has uh, tweeted something in Spanish so I can click other actions click tweet, click translate, da da It instantly translated the tweet into English so that I would know what he was saying. Um, I would imagine that this could be a little bit hit or miss um, depending on your language and how much Twitter shorthand that you have used in your tweet how much Twitter shorthand was used in the tweet so for example if you use the tweet shrink feature if that was used on the tweet uh, the tweet that you're trying to translate it's entirely possible that the translation might not be completely accurate I don't know um, but I would imagine that that would be possible that would be possible so and I just untranslated it and put it back to its original language um, of course, there is also, um, you can also translate your update. So say, for example, if I typed an update and I wanted to translate it into a different language when I sent it, I could choose the various languages from here. When I can type it into my native language and then click translate and it would translate it and send it into that, you know, that native language and, um, send it on through that way. So anyway, just a really quick tip on TweetDeck on how to translate um, a tweet that you might get in that's in a language that is not native to you. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps you.